What up, everyone? It's your girl, Lily. Hi, I'm El Mills. Pleasure to meet you. So you That's the kind of energy Elections Canada wanted to tap Yay. into, with its plan yeah. to hire Should famous young Canadians to, to convince and others to register to, to vote. And Alexia has the gold medal! Olympic champions, TV personalities, and musicians, 13 of them, picked and vetted by Elections Canada with the help of two external agencies. But before the project even got off the ground, Elections Canada is giving up. I was not satisfied that I had the right assurances that some of these uh, influencers may be perceived as being partisan. Here's his issue. While vetting the influencers, Elections Canada found previous online activity from more than one of them that raised questions about bias. But they won't say who. Are you registered to vote at your current address? So the planned video in English and French has been scrapped, but the rest of the campaign will launch next week as planned. Order on both sides of the House. This is a win for the Conservatives, who had pounced on the influencers' plan, accusing the Liberals of interference. Why doesn't the Prime Minister just admit that he is using his power and influence in this latest stunt to stack the deck and rig the next election? Yeah. Under a law passed by the previous Tory government, Elections Canada was not allowed to promote voting. But the Liberals reversed that, a move that angered the Conservatives. They said it was an influencer's campaign. And one word that should never exist with an impartial election body is the word influence. Their job is not to influence. It's to tell people where, when and how to vote. The Minister of Democratic Institutions says the decision to create and subsequently scrap the video was Election Canada's alone, while the agency says it will continue with its mandate to try and get young people to the polls. But first, it's trying to get back some of the $650,000 it dropped on the dropped video campaign. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Ottawa.